now. Gamescom, right? Gamescom yeah. is happening this week. That's right. Okay. That's why. Oh, DMC Five is playable at the show, so we're gonna see gameplay. Yes, footage tons of, that. of so tons is Sekiro. Of, yep, tons of footage of that. Um, I also saw a new thing about it says Life of... is Strange Two is a completely different story, and it's two brothers that accidentally kill a yes. cop. Fuck yeah. And they're on the run. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, that's that's fucking that's do the it. Details I've seen. So Anthology. Far. Anthology. Yes. Everyone it's a lot easier to do in games when you don't have to worry about throwing away all your big name actors. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter what your medium is, man. It does matter. It does matter. Jojo. <laughs> it does matter. Jojo. That, that is free. Got nothing. It's free that's to one change one man's though. hand and pen. When you can it, write. A good story, and or film a good story, or animate a good story, a, or play a good you're story. You're such a wrong. And asshole. the story wraps up and is done, and you don't have anywhere else to go with it. The, when you have to tack more on, it'll it'll it can be good, but there's a chance it can be bad, and the sequel can also do that too. But I think more things should just not be not feel the need to stretch where they don't need to. That's what I say. Yeah, and it's a lot harder to do that when you have to worry about the big name actors that it you is. brought onto your project which and is all the set work. That you Joe did. Which is why doesn't I get mad at a rack. Which is why I appreciate it when it happens. Right. Because it's it's all it is harder to do, but so, it means that you did it I can, for the better fucking I, result. So what I'm doing, people at home, is I'm combining Wooly's unsaid statement of. I wish Stranger Things was an anthology, and combining that with the statement of like, "See, look, JoJo changes it." You know, story. I actually, I that's, actually, that's, yeah. I actually wasn't thinking Stranger Things until like after the, that little blow up. I was, I'm just thinking about how I always push for more stories to do this. Yeah, yeah. we we talked like, about what the example was recently, where you were like, "Man, I wish they had done an anthology for that." And it wasn't Stranger Things; it was something else. But. Anything, no, anything that just doesn't end when it should mm. right pick a fucking manga that you like that's been going on too long oh i can think of one now think about if that had ended and then continued with a successor series under the same name wouldn't have been thinking every day about how it's not going to end before the author dies yeah all of it any of it whatever you want right yeah berserker Berserk man yeah just, Berserk too. But that but that's what I was actually thinking of because that's what I always push for. Stranger Things happened to waddle into this world where I already had that opinion. The thing where you can end it and then make the successor that is either thematically or possibly literally within the same world um the, pro the uh, here, allows you to not be shackled here's a little, to what are what is this character up to this week here's two similar things that did stuff very different ways and it's like it depends on what the the objective was with the show so like stranger things tons of actually good child actors or charming whatever I'm doing an old school throwback to um uh fucking 80s movies the 80s and stuff yeah. so the characters have tons of personality and they got these little ticks about themselves and whatever whatever and that's like a horror thing. Then there's the other series I've talked about before called Channel Zero, which were six episode things with nasty or like dull characters. And it's about the horror and the story. But when the people dress up as Stranger Kids characters and people cosplay as them, no sane company is ever going to be like, gotta kill these kids I or we an, gotta move on. I have an idea. Stranger Things 2 should have used all the same actors playing different characters. American Horror Story? Well, I don't know what. American what you Horror just described. Story does that oh, exact same that? thing. Every season of American Horror Story uses the same actors playing different characters. I Not thought, all of them, but of, like most of I them. I thought of a stupid thing to make fun of. No. You're telling me they've it's done a real it. thing. Oh, that's stupid. Completely they've, they've actually time, done it. That's time really bad. And areas. Don't do what I said as I, a joke. I'm, but it, but it, then it, again, it that, that, then again, that thing's on its eighth season now. It's so. going. You know what? You know, That's it's smart. going. It's a lot of them. I Lady Gaga is in. I there. actually oh. hate when I think up a dumb idea to make fun of something, and then someone goes, "Oh, that's a real thing." And it's made millions. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so you'd be poor. Capcom ripped off my X Men fighting game idea. God damn it! It's just, it's just that we live in a world of sequels more than anything we've had for years, and people tend to be afraid of 
final endings or things that say goodbye to characters a it's, lot. People yeah. are afraid of them so much. Movies, it just when, stories, it just successes. When, when companies see people dressed up as like a character, it's not so much about the show anymore. And it's like, we can't throw that away. But... I mean, I always wished like that. I thought Stranger Things 2 was going to be like a, a, another set of kids in another state, whatever. And like, it'd just be a different phenomenon. Phenomenon. Like to zoom out, right? Because this is where... Because again, it's not about Stranger Things or about these manga. Even it's the title makes this me is, think of like an anthology. It like, sounds like, like it. Um, like a uh, like, uh, uh, Twilight Zone or like right. uh, The Outer Limits. And, this isn't, and it's not a fix for bad writing because the True Detective failed. Right? Boy, did it. That's the example we were True Detective failed. I can't pretend this is a fix-all. But what I am saying is that because so many things are... I wanted a a sequel to that. I didn't want that to move around. We're afraid (laughs) of endings because recognition makes money. Yeah. Therefore, exactly. the more we bring back the thing you know, the safer a bet it is. Well, it's, it's right. Always, it's a really simple it's equation. When, it's when people go, when people hit the end, they go, "That was amazing. I want more, but don't make it shitty." <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. Right. And, and then, and then, uh, uh, fucking uh, Hirsch uh, steps in for Gravity Falls and goes, "Nah, it's done. We're done. I want more. No, you're done. But I want more. You though. can do something else if you want, but this story is fucking done. And you're like, you know what? Yeah. It was written to be done. It's so rare. So let it be done, right? No, I want more. Rah. So that's what it is. And it's the fact that you're like, no, but these characters, if they showed up again, Mabel's cute. She can sell. And yeah. No, it's finished, right? So I like that idea being respected, especially when a good writer and artist and storytelling crew can get together and tell another compelling story. Yeah, like with, Joey. Without stretching shit the <laughs> Without stretching shit the fuck out. And we're so afraid of that these days that when it's so rarely seen, I fucking applaud it when I see it because I'm like, you had the balls. Thank you. Yeah. And I mean, go. I go to JoJo because but it's fucking JoJo. But like JoJo is a but, great example of someone that like in their manga, whereas like you have other shonens that run forever. JoJo's been running forever, but there's a pop and a hype and an excitement amongst JoJo fans when a new part gets announced and then you see a new design and a new world and a new story. And it's still and it's familiar re- to you too. And you're like, oh, what? Are we gonna? What's it gonna be this time? Oh, he's a fucking sailor. What? Okay. What's going? You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's just, there's a whole new level of excitement every time, and you're like, it's the same manga, it's the same franchise you've been into, but you allow the story to complete its arc, and when it's done, it's done. That's totally the same, the exact reaction to every time. Oh, he's a, okay. Yeah. Sh- oh, and it's just awkward as fuck for right? like two minutes. And then when something slightly Ugh. ties in a little yeah. bit, and you go, oh fuck, it's that. Th- oh, it's Dio again. It's Koichi. You know, you're, you're like you get excited for the little thing because it's like it's still it's a sequel successor series, but it's actually still under the same name and label. Mm-hmm. So that's all it is, is man. Like as a, I, I, when it comes to media, we're just so afraid to like let things go. Here's a really because good... it's not a safe business decision to make. So I fucking respect well, I mean, it when Naruto people do ended, make that right? decision. Naruto cut the clean. Should have been cut off way longer before that. Yeah. If Naruto did what it did in a shorter time frame, and we got Boruto faster. You know what? Maybe it wouldn't have been as much of a mess. Here's an example that straight, yeah. straight up that, that you're not you're not into them as much as me. But in like Friday the Thirteenth, right? They're like the fourth one. It's called the final chapter. Yeah. There's ten of them. Yeah. Right? Final chapter. Jason Voorhees. Spoilers. Fucking dies. He does hard. Dies. But they're like, it made too much money. They're like, okay, so in the fifth one is just some guy. The fifth one? He just puts on a, a mask, is, and is, it's a random father that just used the legend. With no powers? Just, no. What about the one where Jason dies at the very beginning? Okay, I'll get to that in a second. But, like, <laughs> after that, they're like, fuck, everyone hated it because it wasn't actually Jason. So they brought Jason back, and then they teased the idea that there's a, there's a kid and as a kid, he was like, he had to kill Jason, whatever. And then the last scene, he puts on the mask and he looks in the mirror and goes, Ooh, or whatever. I'm like, oh, he's going to be the new Jason. But they were like, fuck that. No one will like that. So let's not do that. 
And then when Jason brought back, they do another tease where the same kid grown up puts on the mask because he killed Jason. But they're like, fuck that. We're not going to fall. No one wants to see that. So we'll still have Jason again because they're too scared not to have Jason. But Jason's because, gotta be but, Jason. But Jason keep teasing this kid. Keep teasing this kid he's, to see how He's on the bench, man, people over. No, Jason. Anyone bringing signs? No? And what you said in Jason Goes to Hell, he dies in the first, like, five, five minutes because the FBI blow him yeah, up. Yeah, like a thousand cops just sh- <laughs> Like, it's... Man, that's the only... By the way, that's the only Jason movie I've seen the whole way through, and it's amazing because the first five minutes is, uh, oh, I'm chasing a teenager through the woods. And then uh, the teenager runs out into a big clearing, and then all these spotlights hit Jason, and she turns around, and she's like, oh, I was an undercover cop. And there are... Thousands of police with machine guns. <sighs> All right, love. and they, they shoot, shoot him with an him RPG until he explodes. No, they, they they shoot him a bunch, but then they shoot him with like a fucking RPG. At the end of the day. It's still Jason, but it's his like spirit possessing people. So it's all random people, but they're like being possessed by the evil spirit. Everyone hated it. Like, Bring uh, back Jason. I I mean, there's a level. It's of, impossible. There's a level of like integrity, maybe that like <laughs> I don't I don't know. It doesn't apply to everything, no. but. Because, yeah, it's fucking Freddy and Jason and aliens and predators and stupid Imagine shit. there's an alien See, movie and they're like... Here's the... Yeah, yeah. it's a predator. Here's whatever. the thing, right? With you Jason, know? I always got confused that people were so... Um, it had to be Jason because Jason doesn't talk. Yeah, right? but it's just... With Freddy Krueger, yeah, no, that'd be outrageous if there was a Nightmare on Elm Street that didn't have uh, the it's, actor It's because Freddy the Kruger. mask is so cool. Well, the introduction... And, of- like, he does have, like zombie superhuman sure. I mean if you whatever. want if you, the introduction of the fucking chase spirit possessing others is a place oh, it's to go bad. it's it's a it's but, a it's a it's a fucking overweight uh, like old black cop looking at Jason's heart on a on a slab and, and he just he the goes heart. I gotta eat it Arr. okay so look like at that point you're 30 fucking deep at, why not go for 31 like yeah. my, my, my shit doesn't apply to you you're too far gone you know? Also, it's not so much Freddy, but it's the actor, Robert Englund. Yeah, Robert when, Englund's the When shit. they made the remake, and even though it's fucking Rorschach playing Freddy. No, it's uh, got to be Robert Englund. Robert. No, I mean, the remake, yeah, they know. recasted him to be the guy that played Rorschach. Jack Hero Haley. Yeah, and you'd be like, that's awesome. That's a great pick. He's terrible. It's not Robert Englund. But no. this is all as dumb as I expect Jason to be, though. Yeah, that's Jason. It's completely in step. Well. Very dumb. It's in step. I feel like, I can't even I fucking, feel like when you know, I saw the first trailer for Jason X, like the whole Jason series was ruined forever in terms of taking it seriously. Not in terms of being good. Oh, it was no, wrong before you, yeah, but you see, weren't that, taking that, it seriously. For me, that's the that. final nail in the coffin. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, is sure. my horror protagonist? goes to space yeah <laughs> it's because by that time they were like fuck we gotta do something different Christ it was also Jason goes to the future like it wasn't just goes to yeah, space it was, it's also go to the future well he didn't go to the future yeah he went to the future yeah he was frozen I mean it's different sometimes it takes really long but eventually you get to the place where you do what I'm talking about anyway and all I can say like you said you brought up Naruto like sure yeah. right and, I, and like all I can say is, yeah, if you did that sooner, it would have been cooler sooner. The most recent example besides Boruto that comes to mind is Creed. Yeah, uh, I was thinking of Creed uh, as well. Could have done that earlier. Uh, much, way earlier. much earlier. Didn't need you to drag it. You could have done that after Creed, after Rocky IV. But, that, but you know what I mean? Like It's like you're not fucking... And now Creed II is coming out in like two months. Now you have two things. Now you have Rocky and Creed. Oh. You could have had, you know. Anyway, whatever. That's that's the point. That's the man. Point. We got sidetracked. What if we did, but it's a real. It's a it real thing, it and fun. it's a reason what if why. His grandkid fought Creed's grandkid. But it's it's just I, 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 oh. it needs to be understood. It's more than just Stranger Things. In the middle of all these Friday the Thirteenth movies, they released Friday the Thirteenth the TV series, and everyone freaked out. And then they saw, it and it's an anthology series where like a, a couple investigators investigate spooky shit. Like X Files, boo! Where's Jason? Everyone threw trash at, the, at their TVs. Exactly. Uh, remember when I was trying to remember the name of that horror thing that became a show? Yes, yeah. it was Scream wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was, it was you talk about the Exorcist, show. and then there was a Scream show. Scream show. That's I what it was. Wow. Um, I remember the RoboCop cartoon. There's two. There's two that I found it out later. There's also a straight to there sci-fi was... network movie. Yeah, those were really bad. <laughs> 
There was a mo- more modern one, like in the late '90s, and then there was an oh, early '90s one that the had subtitle that on had, it. Had, can you imagine Clarence Boddicker animated? It happened. That's amazing. <laughs> what was the fucking subtitle on it? RoboCop. No. Oh, oh, Su- Justice. No, no. Our, uh, Prime Directive. Prime Directive. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. Prime that Direct- is a good subtitle. Yeah, yeah for that's what it was. That's what it was. Oh. There might have even been two. There was wasn't there three episodes? I think there was a live Prime Directive TV was three series, episodes. Yeah, and then they made two movies based on the series. I don't know. 